what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello i'm lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button and join the growing family today we're doing a q a i asked for questions on instagram i got a question on youtube as well after discharge from psychiatric hospital what do you think should be done for the patient mine's more about the dis 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 discharge plan i personally think that when you're getting discharged from hospital you should have home leave, overnight leave, and gradually build up to the discharge. I think that would help with a lot of people who end up readmitted within the first 72 hours of being out of hospital. An adjustment period of time for people who need to adjust to new situations slowly. Mainly those who are autistic. But that's personally what I think should happen at discharge. Now to answer the Instagram questions. First one is, what is the hardest thing you, for you to cope with? My PTSD. Easily the hardest thing to deal with. Next question is, favourite place in London? Now I don't know this. I think my favourite place to visit is Covent Garden. Hello? Hello? You are interrupting a video. <laughs> No, where was we? My favourite place in London? Probably Covent Garden. I love it at Christmas time. But yeah, I, I don't know really. It's my answer. Next question is, where would you live if you could live anywhere? Honestly, I'd probably move back to Shropshire and be with my family. Because living in London puts me at a three, four hour trip away from them. How long have you been self-harm free? I'll put it on screen. Is there anything you regret making public? Not really. I have no regrets about any of my videos. Some of them are a bit cringe worthy to watch now because the editing style. Ugh. What's something you wish people understood about you? What do I wish people understood about me? I wish people understood that just because I'm doing okay it doesn't mean I'm all smiles and happy all the time. Like yes, I'm safe, I'm not suicidal, but I do have my days where I have urges to self-harm. My eating disorder has gone to shit. Next question. Do you have a comfort item? I do. My unicorn. Unicorn. What's your favourite series? Oh, my favourite series. Good question. Um, what was what, what, what did I just watch? I'm watching Manifest again because it's fucking amazing. Favourite series? Probably Orange is the New Black. Do you have a favourite video game? Animal Crossing and Bunny Park and Little Friends Cots and Lots. Dogs and cats. Hey, how are you doing? I hope you're okay. I'm doing fine. I have my moments, but I'm good. Favourite hair colour? I liked it when I had split blue and pink hair dye. I really want to do that again, but my roots are a little bit too long. And I don't want to bleach my hair again. So, yeah, I mean, that's a bit of a problem. Star sign. My star sign is. What is it? My star sign is Sagittarius. What do I do when scars fade? The, the only thing about my body that makes me feel valid. You don't need scars to know you struggle. You fought and won. Assuming you're clean now. My best advice is honestly just to let go. I got my scars, some of my scars anyway, covered with tattoos. But honestly, don't think it's the only thing that validates you. If your struggles are valid, you are valid. You're important. And you don't need scars to prove that. That's all the questions that I've got. Thank you for watching, and if you are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thank you for joining me. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Peace.